right. so if you check this out and you go to an article also and you go on there's a browser it works better you got the pop-ups you know this is a, so here you see trend news but it posted this this um afternoon and if you see here you can um you see that you can have uh, that much cash in your home tax free or a certain amount this is a straight translation so it's a little bit uh, weird sometimes but this is basically speaking about how much uh, tax free uh, savings you can have according to this devil's law here and say so although we are all unfortunately increasing increasingly being pushed towards digital money and that's what it is about there are still people who swear by cash but did you know that you can just have unlimited quantities in your home cash because you can have certain amount of money and also when you when you go from a to b with uh they say yeah of course if you go from one country to the next you can't not bring more than ten thousand or fifteen thousand depending on where you're going because they want to know what you're going to be doing and they say yeah criminals do that some people just don't want to walk around with um you know, um, they don't want to, uh, some people don't want to walk out with cash. Some people don't want to um, have everything in plastic because they want to budget everything. They want to uh, be able to manage their money by just drawing it, withdrawing it, and knowing like, this is for this, this is for that, this is for, you know, maybe you want to give your family some money, and, you know, if you, if you go back to, uh, you know, the islands of some country where you're, you're from. You know, there's reasons for that. But Esau wants to have everything, you know, checked out because you also had news that people wanted to check out certain amounts of money, uh, which is connected to the W, you know, um, Edomite Forum. So, you know, the World Edomite Forum, you know what it is. Because these, these, Damn devils have the algorithm so focused that I can't say a damn thing in my videos without, you know, being striped or you get a notification that your videos are being pulled down and all that. So that's what they've been up for a long time now. But now it's ridiculous, man. But the hour is going to still be edifying anyway. You know, so here's see cash. We won't come up with that. Uh, before there are comments about it, um, but that's uh, what the blue grabbers think. You know the the blue grabbers. They talking about the IRS, who uh, say, you know, basically like the scriptures call uh, calls them publicans. You know the tax, uh, the the ones that come and collect your tax. They can make it uh, no more fun, not more fun, but easier. If it's easy, just stick to. <laughs> That, that's their slogan. We couldn't need makkelijker maken, but um, uh, leuker maken, but wel makkelijk. So we can't uh, make it any more fun, but we can make it, we can make it easy. And that's a damn lie because you should just have one tax. You know, just uh, a tenth of your money, and, and uh, you know that's it, man. What you what you get in, and not being taxed for the money that you already they already taxed the money. Now you take that money off your bank account, and now you have to pay taxes above. Like, that's crazy, man. Then you have to fill up a form when you're, uh, you know, you have to do your taxes, your, your yearly taxes, and then you have to pay taxes again? That's madness, man. But that's a damn thief. You know, the thief coming not but the rob and the steal, man. That's what Esau's about. So, uh, cash is always useful uh, to have at home when your bank, when your bank has another problem, and that happens sometimes, especially now. There's already at iSafe, you know, back in the days, you know, they just folded, boom, and, and, and was gone. With the money, of course, because the money doesn't disappear in thin air. They make you believe that, but you know the devil. He comes with some words, gives people like a tenth or not even that of what they had saved. And it just fuck, fuck off into the sunset, man. That's it. And start a new, uh, you know... Uh, a new bank or a new company, whatever they want to do, man. And Esau is very cunning when it comes to these laws, starting up these uh, LLCs and all that. 
you know the things are linked to the LLC to that company not to um, uh, the man uh, that started the company so yeah I, I, I don't have anything when you go to the judge you know you you, you, you file for bankruptcy it's a wrap then man people can't do shit you know they can just knock on your door and uh, be like hey where my money hey, the, the judge said that uh, I'm bankrupt man or that company is bankrupt and that company is linked to your salary so you know tough luck that's how they uh, play the game a lot of times man so and there's another reason why is have uh, have a cash is is useful ignorance is bliss in other words the blue friends cannot see cuz here you get blue envelopes and that's tax you know from the IRS um the blue friends cannot see how much cash you have they don't like that because it gives them no control and so there is a limit and that's exactly what it is about and people are already complaining about uh this new law uh pay taxes there there are only two certain certainties in life it will end at some point and you will have to pay taxes yeah so it will end at some point and you and you will have to pay taxes in our country the rate we pay on salaries and all kinds of other products is on the high side you know you have like uh 21% you know and if you go to a certain amount of money then you pay 52% like around the 55k 60k you pay like uh 52% uh income tax man you know of your um what was it yeah or the income yeah if I'm correct is the income and you have uh your um 21% uh, that you also have to you know pay to them you know uh, weekly you, you if you are self employed Oh, you have to pay twenty one percent of your wages. You know you have to give it straight to them, and then you have your uh, about your yearly income, the income tax. Yeah, and then you have to pay, um, you know, a certain amount. Again, you see how it works. And also, if you save up, you have to be going, uh, uh, you know, jumping up a few, uh, you know, steps. Or you have to be very poor, and that's why ESO makes it hard. Same thing with the, uh, you know, how they mess up the nuclear family. You know, they, they, they punish people for being one household, mother, father, and children, by taking a lot of money away from them. And that's, that's just this damn goddamn devil. But let me just jump into a scripture real quick. I really wanted to go on to something else, but we can go on to this as well. Psalm 94 and 20, verse 20. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? These people come up with wickedness, put it in law, and that's what they're about, man. They put mischief up in these, um, you know, because... Let me just go here. They put it up. They come with all types of wicked legislation, these laws, and they mess up the people, the weak, you know, the 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 ones that are already um, basically impoverished. You know, they already destroyed, broken down, and he just steps on them some more. That is what Esau wants. He wants to hunt the innocent, the the the, the, the fatherless. That's what he is about. Because Esau's about taking away everything that you have so he can control you. Or he gives you just a little so he, he will basically be like, okay, I can still pay my bills and you settle for, for, for less. But hey, that's also, uh, what else is Yahweh with the Zah, man? You know, but it's still, um, when you see how this devil is ruling, that's why a lot of people, are, even his own people, are unhappy. And that goes into the Proverbs 29. You know, when the, we jump into that real quick and then go to uh, back to um, Isaiah, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear it rule, the people mourn. You know, so you see, when the wicked are bearing rule, they, the, the people are mourning. They are sorrowful. They are stressed the hell out. And stress kills. It deletes. You know, Proverbs 28 and verse uh let me see 
And he also, you know, <laughs> Proverbs 28 and 8, he, that by usury and unjust, so you, 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 you have a lot of interest, and unjust gain increases the substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. Because, you know, the Most High, he will, he will bring these devils back down, man. Now they have the time and they the fun and you know like Job twenty one you know they playing the harp the, the children dancing the calf gender it everything goes swell, but now you're already seeing glimpses of these you know they becoming bywords like uh, Deuteronomy uh, twenty eight and thirty seven uh, states that we shall become a byword and a proverb and an astonishment among all the nations where uh, the heavenly Father Yahweh will send us to. You know, for our punishment. But now you see that Deuteronomy 30 and 7 is up and and running, man. That the, the Heavenly Father, you know, lift is, is lifting up the curses off of us and placing them, the curses, upon the ones that uh, uh, that hate us, man. Upon the ones that um, that oppressing that are oppressing us. And that's why you see them, Karens and Kens, you know, all types of bywords, you know, and they being ridiculed in the in the media, you know, and it's they trying to be us. With all them damn BBLs and, you know, them nose jobs, augmentations of them, you know, the pesticides and all that, you know? So, but without playing around, but it is what it is. You see it in the Kardashian family, you know, what are you trying to be, man? Boxer braids and all that shit coming out. But hey, Proverbs 28, uh, verse... Um, let me jump to 15. As a roaring lion and a raging bear, bear is running towards you. So is a wicked rule over the poor people. Because that is what uh, they, you, you're feeling like you, you ain't safe nowhere. You know, you can't make ends meet, stressing the hell out. That is what Esau is doing in this whole system. So Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, the, pe the, the people rejoice, and that's going to come in the kingdom, man. Even the heathen will be happy. If they serve their thousand years, they get their places, Esau's going to be eradicated as a dream. He shall be gone. Disappear like his own tongue. So, yeah, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Let me go into the word mourn. And then, <laughs> Let me think about something. And then, but, it, <laughs> but yeah, um, here it says, um, sigh, groan, in pain or grief. Oh man, crying, you know, moan of cattle, groan, sigh. You see that? So that's what uh, this world is doing. Why? Verse seven: The righteous consider it the cause of the poor. That's what uh, we are about. But the wicked, the damn devil, regarded not to know it. And none of uh, our people that are in league with them, like in the book of uh, First Maccabees, you know, they don't care about you have them boule and bougie Negroes out there. They don't care about the poor Jakes. They want to please Esau, man. You see, I'm not like, like, like him. <laughs> and I'm talking like him. Acting like him, trying to walk like him, dress like him, you know. But don't get me wrong; a lot of the the, the things, the suits, and you know, all, they come from us, man. But you have a certain way of wearing a suit, and a certain way of walking and talking. And if you, you know, you wash yourself off of the soap, basically, you, 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 you're trying to get the soap, the of the sorry, the you're trying to get rid of the the salt. You know, the flavor. And you want to be all stiff and like, eh, eh, yes. You know, no more bass in your voice. That's no other thing, man. You you just trimming your ways to please Esau, man. Homeborn slave. You know, you know, the scriptures go into that. But you see, but the wicked regarded not to know it. So that's why you have the them unrighteous decrees. They are all about their plan. Man. Proverbs 29 and 12, if a ruler hearkens to lies, all his servants are wicked. That's why the whole thing with voting is a bunch of BS. We shouldn't even be voting anyway. 
You know, the book of Deuteronomy speaks about it, man. One from among your brethren, the, uh, whom the most I shall choose, he shall be king over you. He shall be uh, your ruler, you know? Because this two-party system is all, all, all wickedness, left and right, Republican, Democrats, you know, you kick against one leg, it goes to the same head. It doesn't matter. It's all a wicked congregation anyway, which have none of your interests in heart. They are against you. They are Psalm 83, man. Confederate against Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? Why Yahshua? They are against the Heavenly Father, against His Son, and against His people, against the people of the Heavenly Father and His Son, you know? So, let me just jump back to Isaiah. Something popped in my head, but you know, let me just. Uh, Isaiah 10, verse 1. Whoa! You know, lamentation, destruction, perilous time unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, decrees of laws, statutes, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. These people, they come together. How can we oppress these people? How can we put them in a, basically in a trick bag? How can we keep them in a, in a vicious cycle that goes from, you know, basically the rat race you work for something that you need, your house, your car, then you work to uh, to pay off your car and your house, which is deteriorating. So you, 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 you're making a certain amount of money being taxed about, you know, your house, you have your property tax or, you know, the taxes that you need to pay for uh, your car. If you have a, a pet, you need to pay taxes for that. You need to pay uh, taxes on your groceries. You need to pay taxes on your uh, income. You need to pay taxes, uh, you know, upon uh, gasoline that you put in your car. You need to pay taxes upon your medication. You need to pay taxes, you know, for every selection, for every damn thing in this damn world, man. Because it is wickedness that is uh, 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 on the throne right now and being spread around the world. For people to be devoured by man, so to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. And if you go to Lamentation, chapter 4, verse, um, verse uh, Lamentation, chapter 5, verse 1. Pray for mercy. Remember, O Yahweh, Hashem Shai, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. Yeah, and you see that um, these devils now taking up the land, you know, destroying it, you know, defiling it. You know, we are cast uh, among the nations and all that in captivity. We are or we are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows we have drunken our water for money our wood is sold unto us our necks are under persecution we labor and have no rest and that's why you know this this is another thing you can't even now you want to save some money up it goes into um no, it's not this here yeah. in 2023 you can have an amount of 500 and uh, 96 euros in cash in your home without having to pay tax on it. You can have also 300,000, what, 300,000 at home, but then you have to pay tax on it. So you can't s s save up money without them having a hand in it. And that 300,000, if you have a certain amount of money, you're going to pay a lot of uh, taxes, man. Because if you... Um, I don't know exactly the uh, the ins and outs, but if you make more, like I said, uh, over like fifty five or sixty thousand here in the Netherlands, you pay fifty two percent of that um, to Esau, man. According to the rules, then uh, you are obligated uh, or obliged to report it if you have more than five hundred ninety six euros in cash in your possession. That's that's that's, that's a small change, man. In certain uh, in certain sectors. You know, I can do a lot with that money, but, you know, if you take a look at uh, what people make, if, if you take a look at what uh, a washing machine costs, 
you know, decent one or, uh, you know, a couch that doesn't uh, fall apart if you, you know, sit on it or if you have children, you know, uh, what they do. If you move it from uh, one, you want to change the, the setup in your house and then, uh, you know, shit start to fall apart. You know what it is, man. You need to buy a good bed. You already are over that money, man. Or you have to go secondhand or, you know, but just if you want to just get something fresh, especially a couch, man. But uh, and a bed, but hey, that amount will be increased slightly for 2024, according to the government website. You can have 653 euros in cash at home next year without having to declare it, and that applies to single people. If you have a tax partner at home, the amount, that amount is 1306 euros, and cash also includes vouchers. So if you have like, uh, if you have a me media market, uh, uh, media mark gift voucher. It also counts as cash. So if you have a voucher from like a store where you can buy TVs, it's a media market and radios and et cetera. Yeah, that is also added up to, uh, you know, your safety, your safe uh, savings. <laughs> that's crazy, man. Your cash savings. So if you have a voucher, that's the equivalent of having uh, cash money. That's bullshit because in a lot of stores... If you have like a voucher that you can use every you can use everywhere you want, then I'm like, mm, I get it. But this is only linked to one store, and you don't go go to that store a lot to buy a lot of stuff because you if you already have your things, that's it, man. You don't need to go to a, a store that buys that that sells uh, TVs and uh, all that all the time. And so you have to uh, in indicate that you have to you know. Uh, when you file your taxes uh, and all that, you have to show this. But but what but what's lucky like happens? But what happens if you have more cash and don't declare it? Then you have to make sure you have people around you you can trust and who won't betray you. You see that? Because the government website is just showing you, and this is not a bunch of nonsense. This is the website of uh, you know Rijksoverheid, the Reich. You know basically the. The, if you go to uh, Reich, it's like an empire. And this is the official uh, website of the Dutch. Um, basically, the. I said it again. Basically, of the uh, these damn devils, uh, their, their rules, man. They have municipalities and you have, uh, like, I've got the name for the, the countries. Um, but it's the official uh, government website, yeah. To keep it simple. You see, so, you give vouchers and all that, you know. You also declare your money saved at home on your tax return. You know, <laughs> give vouchers. ESA wants to have all your information. But soon, you know, don't save too much money at home. You see that? According to the National Institute for Budget Information, EBIT, it is wise to save a small amount at home for emergencies. So you're already, they're already discouraging people to save money. Are you saving more money than uh, saving in the bank of savings? Because then they know what it is and they, they, they want to control you. But basically, you know, this is the thing, man. Um, uh, Haggai 1 and 6, you have so much and bring in little. You eat, but you have not enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. He clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earned wages, earned it, earned wages to put it in a bag with holes. Because Esau will tax you left and right through these unrighteous decrees that he is putting up there. You know, and that is what uh, uh, Esau wants to do. Let me see uh, something here. Here, yeah, Psalms. 94, verse 3. Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall the other and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. Because they are not in trouble as other men. These people are up there doing whatever they want. But there's a certain time span wherein Esau's eon, his world, uh, you know, they have to rule to a certain time. You know, it's just like with Pharaoh, the Most High allowed Pharaoh to rule for a certain time so he could smash him. You know, 
Just building up the case, man. Let prophecy fulfill, be fulfilled. And that's it. Yahweh Shai also said it, man. If my servants, uh, my servants would fight. You know, if this was my kingdom, my servants would fight. But how then shall the prophecies be fulfilled? The scriptures be fulfilled. You know? So, Yahweh Shai also knew, of course, that he needed to suffer uh, uh, the things that he needed to suffer. For the commandment's sake, for the scripture's sake, man. For the truth's sake. For five, they break in pieces thy people, O Yahweh, and afflict thine heritage. They slay the, the widow and the stranger and murder, you know, the delete, the fatherless. Yet they say, the Lord Yahweh shall not see, neither shall the power of Jacob regard it. You see, so they think like they can pull a, pull a fast one on the Heavenly Father. This is some ultimate nonsense, man. It's lucky for saying it like that, but they think they're slick. Understand, ye brutish among the people, and ye fools. When will ye be wise? He that planted the ear shall ye not hear. He that formed the eye shall ye not see. He that chastised the heathen shall he not correct. He that teacheth man knowledge shall he not know. The Lord Yahweh knoweth the thoughts of man that they are vanity. You see, so these people are their thoughts, their their imaginations are nothing but folly and and, and worthlessness, man. That's just what it is. But I just um, wanted to, let me just go, yeah, I don't want to make it too long. Let me see, uh, another one here. So I'm trying to make it fast, but you know, it's for me, just like to dive in certain things and expand upon certain things. But um, for us, man, here's also a prayer of Asaph. Uh, here's see Psalm 82 and 1. The heavenly Father uh, Yahweh standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the, the the powers, the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Salah, defend the poor and fatherless. Do just do justify the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. And the Most High will do this, man. You know, they know not. Needy will they understand? They walk. On in darkness, all the foundations of the earth are out of course, and that's what you see. Also, uh, you know, they're just trying to push a certain um, um, vibration of the global warming and all that. But these devils are causing, uh, you know, storms. They are taking oil out of the earth. They cause all types of uh, earthquakes. They cause all types of pollution with their microplastics everywhere. Plastic everywhere in the sea, microplastics that are, uh, you know, shed from the things that we uh, eat from these containers, from plastic bottles, these BPAs that shed different hormone, uh, just, you know, uh, upsetting, um, uh, yeah, hormones, you know, these BPAs, estrogen, uh, you know, estrogen heightening, all types of crazy uh, um, um, additives that are being shed you know all types of the, with the petroleum it's all types of things that that raise the estrogen levels man in, in in your bodies and that's for neither good for male nor female you know it disrupts your hormone uh, unbalance so a lot of things like the as a trend if I'm correct you know, which turns male frost into female frost. And, you know, it's, it's all crazy what these damn devils are doing, man. Animals changing their places and all that. It's, you know, they're being uh, bereaved of their, uh, not only their young, but also of their, their uh, they, they take their habitats, man, by chopping it down. It's all madness, man. It's pollution everywhere, you know? So... But um, basically, these devils, they're ruling right now. But eventually, let me go to Psalm 94 and go to the end of that chapter. Psalm 94, verse 21. They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord, Yahweh, is my defense and my power is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yet the Lord 
our power. Yahweh shall cut them off. So all the things that they're coming up with, also the build back better, so-called, uh, you know, the NWO and all that, which they also, um, you know, you remember if you are from the 80s, you know, the, the wrestling, WWE, WWF, with the uh, New World Order, you know, you had Hulk Hogan and Sting and all that. You know, they were already proper, you know, propagate of having that propaganda out there. Don't let me use fancy as words that I don't know about. English is not my first language, so forgive me for that one, Salakia. But <laughs> you know how Esau works, man. It's all true television and all that. And he's just promoting all types of wickedness. But he see that uh, Esau, he wants to make everything digital so he can control you. He can be the one that... Um, you know, is the um, uh, um, so that he can be the one that controls what the hell you do with your cash, and if you do not comply, you are gonna be cut off, and that's it, man. So don't take the MOTB because that is what's coming. Everything that the Bible says will happen, man. So with that, I would like to.